Hey, hello. It's me, Chris. I am testing a camera setup because pretty soon, sometime mid-August, I want to go and scout the Eastern European photo road trip. The, I've talked about this on, on TFTTF on the on the podcast and I want to well I want to do this tour myself first just to make sure everything is sorted out uh, the locations are sorted out the um, the driving times between different places are sorted out so the the Eastern European photo road trip which that's the official title um, the Eastern European photo road trip is is gonna be uh, roughly 10 days again that's what the scouting trip is for uh, roughly 10 days of um, Eastern Europe starting in Berlin Germany probably a stop in Dresden Germany and uh, we'll continue down down uh, southeast to Prague first in uh, in uh, the Czech Republic then Vienna in Austria, then Budapest in Hungary, and then Transylvania, which is uh, which is central Romania. So we're going to be driving um, to the heart of Romania. Henry, my good friend Henry, is uh, lives there, so he will be our guide locally and on the tour. I will be your guide and your driver. Um, reason I'm looking to do this road trip is well multiple reasons the first one is over the last um, 12 13 14 years with all the photo tours I've done my fair share of uh, flying and of blowing carbon dioxide in the air so with everything that's going on right now that just didn't feel right anymore so um, what I'm doing instead I'm trying instead kind of depends on if uh, any of you want to join is uh, is driving this EV this is a Tesla Model 3 where um, it's fast it's zippy it's it's uh, in enormously well suited to do a road trip so we're talking we're talking uh, two and a half to three hours of driving between charging stops um, and then a charging stop is some some 20 minutes so that's the thought behind it right now um, and then that also means that it's a small group we're talking three people max with me in the car and that has a few advantages in itself well first of all as a small group you're flexible it's not so difficult to get around to find places to rest to eat to and so on so um, small group also is look at this hmm? small group is also a much less risk in terms of infections in terms of COVID and that kind of stuff so yeah that is the idea right now and uh, in order to make this uh, financially viable because a small group it, uh, yeah it is not as easy uh, financially of course with a smaller group but I want to do this trip both ways we're talking we are talking uh, one way from Berlin down to Transylvania and then with a second small group from Transylvania back up to Berlin so the whole idea is to yeah have six people in total and then that will be hopefully a fun trip and to make sure it is going to be a fun and really good trip and uh, in terms of the whole adventure in terms of the whole photography of it uh, in order to make this as good as possible um, I'm doing the, 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 the scouting tour so that's about the tour um, by the way let me know what you think about this quickest way to get something on the podcast on tips on the top floor is to go to tfttf.com slash hi that's where you can write drop a recording a voicemail anything 
tfttf.com slash i. So, um, next up, let's talk about the, the tech here, the setup, because I'm really proud of this setup. Um, traveling means traveling. Okay, I have to turn off the spoken navigation prompts. Those are annoying. Um, traveling means What was that? I lost my train of thought. No, traveling means packing light. Packing light is the thing that I have perfected over the last 13 years of traveling. So I'm recording this video on an iPhone, just an iPhone. And that includes the camera looking out of the front win window, which is the ultra wide angle uh, iPhone camera and my own mug which is the camera uh, the selfie camera so I'm using movie pro it's an app that records multiple cameras at the same time and that app is also uh, capable of doing a wow these guys are right next to the road that is dangerous people um, so yeah, the, the Movie Pro app records this and puts it picture in picture. So I have one video to deal with. Um, that's not what you see. I do a bit of editing in, um, what's it called? Adobe uh, Rush, which is a, a f it's free. At least for what I use it for, it's free. It's, a, it's an iPhone based video editor. So I, I put this together in Adobe Rush, it takes about I'd say under five minutes per video. It's really fast. Um, yeah, and then that goes out to uh, to my Dropbox, and on the Dropbox, well, I have a I have a little automation that picks it up from Dropbox and puts it in Auphonic, which takes care of some of the audio, takes a bit of the noise out, um, and yeah, this is, and then puts it on YouTube. So there, that is that process is as automated as it gets. Um, the tech itself, the iPhone, um, it's not just the app, it's also the microphone because recording in a driving car, the distance here is like 10, uh, 50 centimeters. Um, how much is that? 20 inches. So that's too far to make it sound decent. What you want is a microphone that is close to your mouth. That's everyone who records stuff it sounds better when the microphone is closed so um, guess where the microphone is well it's built into the glasses I learned this from Adam Savage so um, he did this for uh, for a stage show that he did um, and he showed this on uh, on one of his videos on tested.com and uh, what you do is you get a in my case, a relatively cheap lavalier microphone. It's one of those that you would typically clip on to your lapel or to your shirt. And that microphone is, um, it come, the cable comes up here behind my ear and goes behind the, the temple and is just stuck in with some black gaffer tape. I'll probably find a clip uh, thing right now for testing is just the gaffer tape and the microphone sits right here inside of the glasses so that's a distance of 10 centimeters I don't know four inches five no four inches probably um, which is the ideal distance to talk and it, it's consistent I, if I move around the microphone moves with me so <coughs> that is uh, that is that's perfect um, and uh, the, the rest of the sound, the noise, uh, this, it's, again, it's a cheap lavalier, so that gets filtered out by YouTube, and uh, uh, not by YouTube, by Auphonic. The, <laughs> I can't show you right now, but the, um, uh, the, 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 the dongle situation on the iPhone is kind of, well, strange, because wh what we're looking at is, okay, so the, the lavalier has a mini jack, 3.5 millimeter stereo jack that goes into a TRS to, okay, into an adapter, TRS to TTRS, no, TRRS. The, the one that comes from the microphone has three rings and the one that goes into the iPhone has four rings, so you need an adapter for that. And then 
Um, as the iPhone doesn't have a, a headphone jack anymore, a microphone headphone jack anymore, um, that goes in first into the headphone to a lightning adapter for the iPhone, and then that gets recorded by Movie Pro. So that's my setup, and then again, the editing, um, I take this to bits and take this apart in, uh, in Adobe Rush on the iPhone. So all, all you see here is recorded on the iPhone, edited on the iPhone, and uh, my little contraption here with the microphone, with the lavalier microphone and the glasses, I'm really proud of. Um, I like the way it really uh, emphasizes the voice and takes a lot of care of the, a lot of the noise. Anyway, that is the technical setup and now I'll stop rambling because I've been talking way too long. Thanks for listening again. <laughs> Let me know what you think about this kind of stuff. tfttf.com slash hi. Um, listen to tips from the top floor. Photography tips from the top floor. tfttf.com. Ah, and that's it. Bye-bye.